What's up, y'all? My name is Trevor, and I'm a visual artist based out of Raleigh, North Carolina, making art to challenge perspectives and give hope to the marginalized and oppressed. Today, I'm going to walk y'all through the process of how I go through street style self portraits. Since I began photography in college, self-portraits have been one of my main mediums of self-expression. Off top, I'm a shy dude and that makes it kind of difficult to get models for shoots. So I'd always grab the model that I knew would be there whenever and for however long I needed them. And that was me. It wasn't until recently that I realized that people saw my ability to capture self-portraits as something that was impressive. That led to some people asking about my process and for some BTS footage. So I figured I'd oblige and make something happen. So here are my eight tips to create street style self-portraits. To get started today, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a camera with Wi-Fi sync capabilities, a tripod, a smartphone, and an SD card. I'll link below um, some of my picks for these different things so that you don't have to go through all those processes. Number one, determine the vibe. Before you shoot, you've got to get a feel for what you're wanting to create. A lot of times I end up on Pinterest or Instagram looking at images from some of the favorite photographers that I have to get inspiration for a vibe that I'm trying to figure out. Um, sometimes my clothes influence me or a movie I watch, but in the end, you've got to determine a vibe of what you're trying to shoot often before you go out to shoot it. Number two, find a spot to shoot. Some days I'll just walk out and skate around downtown to find a location that I like. And other days I'll have the perfect idea in mind of where I want to shoot. This day that we shot, I knew that there was this dope parking garage across from a coffee shop that I frequent. So I chose to shoot there. Number three, pick your lens. Pick the right lens for the right job. I often find myself shooting with my Zeiss 55 millimeter because our eyes see at about 50 millimeters. So it keeps the lens from distorting your features. And I really like the vibe of this lens. It's a really, really sharp lens, potentially the sharpest in Sony's lineup. So I love that. Um, but lately I've been shooting a lot more with my 28 millimeter to get a little bit out of my own comfortability and kind of from influence from Mango Street style. You can see their YouTube page here. Number four, compose a shot so that it looks good without you in it. This is one of the most important things with shooting street style vibe self portraits. The photo should be composed in a way that it looks good without you in it at all. Um, this will make your image more intriguing and make people actually want to look at it. Number five, Wi-Fi sync your phone. Most cameras today have the option to Wi-Fi sync your phone to a camera and this will allow you to use your phone as a remote. If you don't have one of these, you can buy a remote for your camera, which will make some of the other steps like focusing a bit more challenging, but it's totally doable because this is how I started doing self portraits. Number six, set your self timer. Stand where you wanna be in your frame and strike your first pose and then set your self timer on your remote. I usually go for about 10 seconds because that leaves me time to put my hands in my pockets, kind of make any adjustments that I need before the camera will take its photo. Number seven, change your pose. You can have your camera shoot one photo at a time or have it shoot multiples. Regardless, between shots, you should be changing your pose so that you have a variety of images to choose from in your edits. Curves usually represent more of a feminine vibe while angles represent more masculine. I utilize both and you should too. Now we can talk about posing a little bit more specifically in another video. Number eight, check your photos and then repeat. After your camera captures your photos, you should check them on the app and then repeat as many times necessary to get the vibe that you're looking for. These were some of my favorite photos from what I captured. If y'all have any other questions about this style of self-portraiture, let me know in the comments. And if you gain anything from this content, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this video with a friend. And yeah, until the next time, y'all, be easy.